I think if I were in a relationship and I found that out, I would wonder why I was not enough for him. Mm -hmm. If they're doing it regularly, that they have this addiction, um, this urge that they can't seem to combat, and so it would just make me worry, you know, what other things are they doing that they can't control, that it's not good for them. Being, you know, in a dating relationship, like, it's not enough for them because now they've come accustomed to it and they're like, oh no, this is love for me, this is. And then I'm with this uh, real person and you can't fulfill, you know, my need for love. He's inadvertently hurting me and any relationships that he will have in the future and like the relationship that he had he would have with me I don't think he realizes that that could be me even if you didn't know that he was watching porn I think if he grew so accustomed to always seeing that over and over and over again I don't think that there's a way that he could continue to treat you his girlfriend the same way that he did before he started watching that He's definitely going to compare you to the girls that you see in the films or mm -hmm. other women that he thinks look more like the people that he wants to see, not who you are. There's already an issue of women being objectified and that the porn industry, I think, takes that way further. film industry really puts that emphasis on it. Um, yeah, like, they make it seem like it's okay. Like, this is how you're supposed to look, hot girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I'm sure that you can be proud of your body. That's, that's a big important thing and everybody should be comfortable with who they are. That can easily get tainted. Do you think that they're calling you beautiful or your body beautiful? Yeah, is, are you... Right, yeah. what are they looking at? Yeah. The person or your body? Porn strips you of of that dignity of, of the person in being shot or whatever, whoever's being degraded in the video and the picture and the images. You're looked at objectively your whole life. I doubt that that girl would have wanted that when she got into what she was doing. It really perpetuates, you know, violence towards women. In porn, you're you're not seeing the dignity of the other person. You're only viewing it for your own gain. Not thinking about how it affects others, how it affects the relationships in your life, even those to come, and those who are involved in the porn industry. It's a scary thing, I think, because it's unpredictable. You don't really know when you're going to come across it or how exactly yeah. you're going to come across it, what you're going to be seeing. It really is everywhere in the media, just hints of it, you know, aspects of pornographic material. Living in the um, such a media-heavy world, such a digital world, it's inevitable that it's there. You're going to see it. It's going to pop up. You can't escape. I think there's a level of shame involved. If you're watching this, um, there's there's got to be a part of you that knows it's not right. But how do you admit that? After the repetition of seeing it so often, it kind of numbs you to the fact that like, mm -hmm. okay, this is just fine. Like, nobody's gonna, nobody else sees it. But intimacy, but, you, you touched that. That's a very yeah, important word. We all desire that and we all need that. You're not connecting at all with the person who's in that film, the person that you're seeing. This person isn't connecting with you in any way, and they're probably not connecting with anybody else who they're with in the film. I think it's, it's just for the industry. I think it really jumps out at me where it says Christ has come to break through the lies. Whatever falsehood that binds to your soul, Christ has brought you freedom with his life. Even if it's something like 
that you feel like you don't have control of watching pornography, if you get so sucked into that cycle of watching it, they forget that God's still there. We're all sinners and we all need God's mercy, every single one of us, and we all have different crosses to bear. And so that's just so comforting to know that, that God still loves us. Why would God send his only son to die for us if not for the sake of love? And, and this forgiveness that we receive through Christ's death is continual. It does, it's not just one time. You have to ask for forgiveness. Right. It's offered to you, but you need to ask for it and you need to accept. You need to want it. Pornography will not fulfill you whatsoever. It's, it's the wrong kind of love, you know. Um, the greatest love is through Christ. There is a greater love out there that will fulfill you so much more than, than what pornography could ever um, even come close to doing. You are made for more. <laughs> like you deserve so much more. Open up your heart to, to Christ. Um, he's that perfect love.